France is the home of some of the most splendid cities, towns, and rural areas across the globe. U.S. News considered factors like the number of places to visit, accommodations conditions, and whether to come up with this list of the top destinations to explore in France. If you're looking for an exciting tour or a peaceful wine getaway, you'll be able to have a great French holiday here. In France, from boulevards that line Paris to the glitzy resorts at the sea from the Côte d'Azur, France offers some of the most magnificent scenes anywhere in the world. Beautiful cathedrals, fairy tale castles, and picturesque villages entice lovers. In the same way, the nation's modern heritage sites and rapid transit take visitors away from their storybook surroundings into the world of the 21st century. Number 1 Eiffel Tower The emblem of Paris the Eiffel Tower is an impressive feat of creativity and is a well-known landmark. The tower made of 8,000 metal components was constructed by Gustav Eiffel to serve as an exhibition to be used at the World Fair of 1889. Number 2 Bordeaux This wine-growing destination entices travelers with its riverbank setting and the surrounding countryside. With over 100,000 acres of vineyards, Bordeaux provides plenty to those seeking to taste some of the most exquisite wines available. In the city's central area, take a look at its Gothic-inspired Basilique Saint-Michel, stroll across to the Pont de Pierre. Number 3, Louvre Museum. In a palace of stately grandeur which was previously a royal residence, the Louvre Museum is one of the most prestigious European collection collections of fine art. A large portion of the most well-known pieces is located in the museum among them paintings like the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci and the Wedding Feast at Cana by Veronese as well as the 1st century BC Venus de Milo sculpture. Number 4, Provence. In contrast to the grey sky in Paris or northern France, the pleasant region of Provence is bathed in the bright Mediterranean sun for most of the time. The countryside is untouched by modernity and has an earthy, rugged appeal. In this idyllic landscape, Impressionist artists found inspiration to paint vibrant art. Number 5, French Riviera. For English people, this glitzy seaside resort is known by the name of French Riviera, words that are laced with sun-soaked luxury. In the summer, the seaside resorts are crowded with sun and beach lovers. The famous and wealthy can also be found in their extravagant villas and luxurious yachts. Number 6, Rocamador. Clinging to a cliff of awe-inspiring height, Rocamador seems to aspire toward heaven. This stunning location was the third most significant Christian pilgrimage spot in the 11th century, and it was a stop along the Camino de Santiago Pilgrim's route. The village is home to seven medieval holy sites, which are accessible via stairs that are steep for pedestrians. Number 7, Mont Saint-Michel. The sea rises above it like a castle from the fairy tale, Mont Saint-Michel is one of France's most popular tourist destinations. Since the time of its completion, it's been a major place of worship and education for Christian pilgrims as well as European intellectuals. Visitors can visit the beautiful abbey and marvel at its stunning medieval architecture, or walk its streets that are lined with tiny stores and cozy cafes. Number 8, Loire Valley. To experience a romantic escape, take a trip to your favorite spot in the Loire Valley in central France. It is located close to the Loire River, the area, the area is dotted with bed and breakfasts, chateaus vineyards, and farms. The region is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its beauty and historic villages. Spend the day in some of the valley's secluded towns and cities, including Orleans, Tours, and Saumur. Number 9, Verdun Gorge. It is a river canyon that is located in the province southeast Côte d'Azur region of southeastern France. It's approximately 25 kilometers, 15.5 miles, in length and can be up to 700 meters, 0.4 miles, deep. It was created through its river, the Verdun River, named after its turquoise green color which is one of the area's distinctive features. Number 10, Dune of Pilot. 
The Dune of Pilot, also called Grande Dune du Pilot, is the highest sand dune in Europe. It is situated within La Teste de Buc in the Arcachon Bay region of France, 60 kilometers, 37.2 miles, southwest of Bordeaux. With more than a million visitors each year, the Dune of Pilot is a well-known tourist attraction. Number 11, Auvergne. Auvergne is a historical region and former administrative area of France. As an area, it included all the departments that comprised central France, including Allier Puy de Dome, Cantal, and Haute Loire. In 2016, the Auvergne region was joined with the region of Rhone Alpes to form the new administrative entity of Auvergne Rhone Alpes. Number 12, Corsica. Sometimes referred to as France's Isle of Beauty, Corsica has a variety of landscapes and a unique culture that makes it appear like an entire continent. The Mediterranean island's crystal clear blue waters and white sand beaches are great for snorkeling, sunbathing, and kayaking. Its rugged terrain and dense forests give plenty of opportunities to trek trails such as the highly praised, albeit difficult, GR20. Number 13, Strasbourg. Strasbourg provides the perfect blend of French and German culture due to its position on the border between France and Germany. When visiting, visitors should visit the city's goth Gothic Cathedral and walk through Petite France, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Additionally, those who are interested in politics can tour a variety of important European institutions on their visit which include the European Parliament and the Council of Europe. Number 14, Chamonix. If you're passionate about skiing you'll likely be ski-spinning powder on Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in Western Europe. In Chamonix, you'll have quick accessibility to Europe's longest ski run of its kind Europe, Valley Blanche, and steep, challenging slopes. Chamonix is also an excellent location for mountain biking, hiking, or whitewater rafting. Number 15, Carcassonne. You'll feel like you've been transported back to the past when you walk through the walls fortified by Carcassonne. In the older, upper area of town, known in the area of La Cite, you can explore the streets of a storybook and marvel at the cathedrals. And in the lower, more modern, but equally historical, Bastard St. Louis area, there is a myriad of cafes and shops. In this video, you have explored wonderful destinations to visit in France. Please let us know in the comment box that which one looks favorite to you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel for more wonderful places you might visit in your upcoming vacations. Thanks for watching Tour and Trips.